uh, later, later when we go over this. So in this example, again, guys, if we're going to set these, if these are our zeros, x equals 1 minus the square root of 2 equals 1 plus the square root of 2, x equals negative 1 half. Now, I'm just going to kind of go to the factored form. So I'm going to set these all equal to 0 by using my inverse operations. And I can rewrite my factors as y equals um, x minus 1 plus the square root of 2, x minus 1 minus the square root of 2, and 2x plus 1. So again, how I got all those factors, as I'm doing this a little bit quicker for time purposes, is I just set them all equal to 0. And then whatever was equal to 0, I rewrote as my factors. All right, And you guys can check my math. But basically, multiply by 2, add 1 there. And then I just put all those terms to the other side. Okay. Now here, we have trinomial times trinomial times binomial. So the preferred thing is just to pick 2 and just multiply them out. I really don't, do not like doing uh, trinomials using distributive property. There's nothing wrong with it. But I usually will miss something or make a mistake. So just like I kind of did in class, I'm just going to use the long form in this case to multiply these out. So we get x squared, negative x, um, x squared of 2, negative x plus 1, negative square root of 2, uh, negative x squared of 2, positive square root of 2, and negative 2. And if you guys remember, terms are usually going to add to 0. So we're going to be kind of good. So it's actually not that bad. So now we have y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1. OK, well, I can do a binomial or a trinomial times a binomial, right? I can just use the distributive property there. So that's exactly what I'll do to finalize my answer. So again, you're just multiplying each term times both of the second terms. So therefore, I'll have 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x minus 1. And then we have a couple of like terms here. So we have 2x cubed. Let's see, x squared, x squared, so that's going to be negative 3x squared um, minus 4x minus 1. Okay. There you go.